Married with Children, the irreverent and boundary-pushing sitcom, was known for its unapologetic humor and unconventional take on the American family. However, despite its popularity, the show was no stranger to controversy. One episode in particular proved to be so contentious that it led to the show's premature cancellation. What made this episode so controversial that it led to the downfall of this iconic series? Were the protests and public backlash warranted, or did the episode merely showcase the darker aspects of comedy? Join us as we explore the controversial episode that got the show pulled off the air and how it sparked a wave of reactions that still resonate with fans today. Married with Children is an American sitcom that aired on the Fox network from April 1987 to June 1997. Created by Michael G. Moy and Ron Levitt, the show was one of the first original series to be broadcast on the then-new Fox network, and it became a defining program for the channel. The show centers around the Bundy family, a dysfunctional and often cynical representation of the American middle-class household. The patriarch of the family, Al Bundy, is a former high school football star who peaked in his teenage years. Now, he's a disillusioned, underpaid shoe salesman who constantly laments his miserable life, his dead-end job, and his lack of respect at home. Al's wife, Peggy Bundy, is a lazy, materialistic housewife who prefers shopping and watching TV to cooking or cleaning. Despite her lack of domestic skills, Peggy is known for her big hair, tight clothes, and quick wit. The Bundy's daughter, Kelly, is portrayed as the stereotypical dumb blonde. She's attractive but not particularly bright, and much of the humor surrounding her character revolves around her lack of intelligence and her dating life. Their son, Bud Bundy, is the smartest member of the family but also the most socially awkward. He constantly struggles with his desire to be popular and successful with women, often failing miserably. Married with Children stood out for its irreverent, often crude humor, which sharply contrasted with the more wholesome family sitcoms of the time, like The Cosby Show and Family Ties. The show broke away from the idealized portrayal of family life, instead presenting a more cynical and exaggerated version of a working-class family. The show gained a loyal following and became one of the longest-running live-action sitcoms in TV history. The series' success helped establish Fox as a major player in network television. Despite its popularity, Married with Children was often criticized for its crude humor, negative portrayal of women, and its frequent use of stereotypes. However, its willingness to push boundaries and tackle taboo subjects also earned it a place in television history as a groundbreaking and influential series. The controversial episode that took Married with Children off the air is the season three episode titled, I'll See You in Court. While it didn't literally take the show off the air permanently, it was controversial enough to cause a major uproar and led to its initial ban from airing on network television. I'll See You in Court was intended to be the 10th episode of the third season. The episode revolves around Al and Peggy Bundy discovering that they were secretly filmed while having sex in a motel room. Outraged, both couples decide to sue the motel for invasion of privacy. The plot itself was enough to raise eyebrows, but the episode also contained several explicit jokes and sexual references that were considered too risque for network television at the time. Even for a show like Married with Children, which was no stranger to controversy, this episode was a step too far. Fox, the network that aired Married with Children, decided not to air the episode due to its explicit content. The network was already under scrutiny from conservative groups who had long criticized the show for its vulgarity and perceived negative influence on viewers. The episode's content was seen as potentially damaging to the network's reputation and could have led to a backlash from advertisers and viewers. As a result, I'll See You in Court was pulled from the airing schedule and remained unaired in the United States for over a decade. It wasn't until 2002 that the episode was finally shown on television when it was included as part of the show's syndication package on the FX network. By that time, societal norms had shifted and the content was no longer deemed as controversial. While I'll See You in Court did not directly take Married with Children off the air, it did mark a turning point in the show's relationship with Fox and its audience. However, despite the episode's initial ban, Married with Children continued to air for several more seasons, 
Ending in 1997 after an 11 season run, several factors led to the cancellation of the show, one of which was its declining ratings. As with many long running shows, Married with Children experienced a gradual decline in ratings over its later seasons. By the mid 1990s, the show's viewership had decreased significantly from its peak years. While it still had a loyal fan base, the numbers weren't as strong as they had been earlier in the show's run. Also, the television landscape was evolving in the 1990s, with newer shows gaining popularity and capturing audiences' attention. Sitcoms like Friends and Seinfeld were dominating the ratings, offering a different style of humor and appeal. When Married with Children debuted on April 5, 1987, it was a spectacle unlike anything viewers had witnessed before. It was as though a whirlwind of humor and controversy had swept across the television landscape. What was it about this show that captivated audiences like Wildfire? The answer was in its bold approach to family dynamics. While other sitcoms depicted ideal families who resolved issues with affection and life lessons, Married with Children embraced chaos and irony. The Bundy family was a group of misfits, always at odds yet oddly bonded by their shared character. This was no typical family. It was a disaster, and viewers couldn't look away. The show was daring in its readiness to challenge norms and cross boundaries. It didn't hold back in addressing controversial subjects or employing humor that spanned from dark to downright offensive. But how did a show so controversial manage to not only endure but flourish in the conservative atmosphere of the 1980s? The answer was straightforward. Controversy sparked interest. While some viewers were shocked by the show's unconventional humor and often provocative content, others were magnetized to it like a moth to a flame. It was a guilty pleasure an escape from the overly sweet and sanitized world of other family sitcoms. Viewers were eager to see how far Married with Children would go, and the show was more than happy to explore new frontiers. However, not everyone was pleased with the show's rise to fame. As Married with Children gained popularity, it also became a magnet for controversy. Critics accused it of being tasteless and offensive, while advocates for traditional family values viewed it as a menace to societal morals. It seemed that with each new season, Married with Children sought out fresh and inventive ways to shock and scandalize its viewers. The show's eagerness to tackle taboo subjects increased, and its irreverent humor became even bolder. One of the show's most notorious episodes, titled Her Cups Runneth Over, ignited a storm of controversy. The episode, broadcast on January 8, 1989, featured Bundy and his neighbor Steve in a lingerie store on a mission to find a replacement for Peggy's favorite discontinued bra. The scene was set for humor that pushed boundaries, from the lingerie-clad mannequin that Steve caressed to an elderly man wearing women's undergarments and even a questionable joke about homosexuality. This type of content was common for the show, but it deeply affected Terry Ricolta, a Michigan homemaker and advocate for traditional family values. Ricolta's anger was intense. While working out on her treadmill, anticipating a show suitable for the family, she was instead faced with content she found inappropriate for primetime television. Upset, she let her kids out of the room but stayed to watch, her irritation growing with every inappropriate joke and suggestive scene. The breaking point came with several scenes, including a male stripper taking off his clothes at the Bundy household and the scene where a woman named Vicky took off her bra in front of Al. Ricolta's reaction was immediate and decisive. She began a fight against the show, targeting its main source of income, the advertisers. Her strategy involved carefully tracking sponsors and starting a vigorous campaign of letters, accusing them of promoting explicit pornography. Her actions had an impact, leading to the show losing major sponsors like Coca-Cola and McDonald's and causing a stir in the advertising industry. Fox, dealing with the boycott's effects, moved the Married with Children slot to a later time, aiming for a more adult audience and toning down the content. However, the backlash had an unexpected side effect. The controversy over Ricolta's campaign and the show's content increased public interest, leading to higher viewership as people wanted to see the show which had caused such a strong reaction. Ratings skyrocketed, solidifying Married with Children as a success and inadvertently enhancing Fox's profile in the competitive TV landscape. Ricolta's efforts, intended to censor what she found offensive, 
ended up increasing the show's popularity. The creators and actors of the show even sent Ricolta flowers each year as a playful thank you for the boost in publicity. This moment in TV history highlights the intricate relationship between public outrage, censorship, and the unpredictable reactions of viewers. Married with children, with its daring humor and readiness to challenge norms, not only withstood the Ricolta boycott but flourished, making a lasting impact on American television. On the set of Married with Children, a storm was brewing beneath the surface of laughter and scripted jokes. The show, celebrated for its daring and often contentious humor, was filled with an undercurrent of tension, particularly between its leading actors, Ed O'Neill and Amanda Bears. This tension, which simmered just beneath their professional facades, was partly due to Bears' role as both an actor and a director. Bears, who played the witty Marcy Darcy, also took on the role of directing 31 episodes of the series. This added responsibility altered her relationship with her co-stars. For Ed O'Neill, who played the legendary Al Bundy, this shift in Bears' duties seemed to have marked a significant change in their relationship. Their interactions, once simple lines delivered by their characters, now carried the burden of professional critique and creative direction. However, this was not the only rift opening within the Married with Children universe. The series itself, groundbreaking for its era, began to face scrutiny for its depiction of women. This criticism was not only external, but also came from within the show's crew. Katie Segal, who masterfully portrayed the Bundy matriarch Peggy, expressed her concerns about the show's portrayal of women as misogynistic. She recognized that the show often presented women in a negative light, reflecting its attempt to parody and satirize societal norms and family relationships. Amanda Bears echoed Segal's views, describing the show as mean-spirited. She questioned whether a show with its controversial and often offensive content could find a place in today's more aware and progressive entertainment scene. This critical perspective from the show's main stars highlighted the changing views on gender representations in media over time. The tension between O'Neill and Barris was not merely a personal issue, but seemed to permeate the show's atmosphere, affecting its overall vibe. Barris's views on O'Neill's comments, especially regarding her sexuality and changes in her appearance over the years, showed a lack of understanding and acceptance. This rift was a stark contrast to the familial connection that the show's fans had grown to love and admire on screen. However, despite these underlying tensions and criticisms, the main cast, which included Christina Applegate and David Faustino, managed to keep a strong rapport on screen. Katie Segal described their time together on the show as wonderful, emphasizing their ability to work well despite the obstacles they encountered. The cast of Married with Children went through a series of personal hardships and tragedies, both throughout the series and after its conclusion. Katie Segal, who played the beloved Peggy Bundy, faced numerous devastating personal losses and struggles. In 1981, her father, Boris Segal, a renowned director in television and film, tragically died in a helicopter crash while working on a miniseries. This event deeply affected Segal's life. Moreover, she battled her own demons with substance abuse, beginning in her teenage years and shaped by her surroundings. Segal's journey through addiction and her path to recovery are explored in her memoir, Grace Notes. She also endured the loss of her mother, Sarah Zwilling, who fought against heart disease and sadly passed away when Segal was just 21. Perhaps one of the most heartbreaking moments occurred during the filming of Married with Children when Segal experienced a stillbirth. The show's producers adjusted the plot to reflect this deeply personal tragedy, handling it with sensitivity. Christina Applegate, recognized for her role as Kelly Bundy, faced significant health issues as well. She was diagnosed with cancer and underwent a double mastectomy. Later, Applegate shared her battle with multiple sclerosis, a chronic condition affecting the central nervous system. This diagnosis highlighted her strength and resilience in overcoming such obstacles. David Faustino, who portrayed Bud Bundy, also encountered his fair share of difficulties. Despite the show's success, he struggled financially, revealing that he and his co-stars did not receive residuals from the series and this affected their financial well-being. Faustino also ran into legal troubles being charged with drug offenses, which was a low point in his life after the show. Ed O'Neill dealt with the consequences of being typecast. 
His role as Al Bundy, while iconic, limited his opportunities in dramatic roles, a genre he had previously excelled in. This typecasting posed a significant barrier to his career after the show ended. Furthermore, behind the scenes, there were allegations of deceit by the producers, particularly regarding financial matters. Cast members, including David Faustino, expressed their dissatisfaction with not receiving residuals for the show's reruns. This financial issue was particularly contentious given the show's success and longevity, leading to a feeling of injustice among the actors. These personal accounts from the cast of Married with Children underscore the stark contrast between their real lives and the comedic adventures of the Bundy family, providing insight into the challenges actors face in the public eye. The contentious nature of Married with Children went beyond being a mere reflection of its era. It served as a reflection of the evolving cultural landscape in the late 1980s. During the 1980s, the United States was experiencing a major change in its culture. The period following World War II, marked by wealth and conventional family beliefs, was gradually transitioning into a society that was becoming more intricate and varied. As Married with Children continued to stir controversy and push the limits of what was considered acceptable on TV, its enduring influence on the show itself and the sitcom genre as a whole became increasingly apparent. The repercussions from the initial controversies had a lasting effect on the show's subsequent episodes and influenced the development of network censorship policies. Following the Terry Ricolta boycott and the decision to withhold the episode I'll See You in Court from broadcast, the creators and writers of Married with Children were confronted with a significant challenge. How could they continue to explore controversial topics and preserve the show's irreverent tone while avoiding further criticism and potential loss of sponsors? The show's strategy was both calculated and creative. They chose to leverage the controversy to their benefit. Rather than avoiding provocative content, they intensified it, albeit with a nuanced shift in their approach. The humor became more self-conscious, with characters occasionally acknowledging the controversies that surrounded them. For example, in one episode, Al Bundy directly addressed the audience saying, we've been banned in Boston, boycotted by Biloxi, and declared a national disgrace, and now we're in the toilet. Additionally, the show became skilled at employing satire and parody to comment on the very issues that had provoked outrage. It used humor as a means to critique and mock societal norms, often highlighting the absurdity of the very issues that had made it controversial initially. For example, an episode titled A Little Off the Top directly addressed the issue of censorship. When a group of moral activists attempted to censor a local cable channel, the show used this storyline to comment on the broader issue of censorship in television. By doing so, it not only addressed the controversies it had encountered, but also engaged in a wider cultural dialogue. Married with Children was a cultural phenomenon that left an indelible mark on television's landscape. In the years that followed its debut, numerous sitcoms began to adopt a more irreverent and edgy tone. They drew inspiration from Married with Children in their approach to tackling controversial subjects and employing humor as a form of social commentary. Shows like The Simpsons, which also debuted in the late 1980s, embraced a similar style of satire and irreverence. The success of Married with Children signaled that there was a market for unconventional and boundary-pushing comedy. Networks became more open to taking risks with their programming, aware that there was an audience eager for content that challenged the norm. Moreover, the controversies surrounding Married with Children led to modifications in network censorship policies. This shift in mindset opened the door to a wider variety of programming, as sitcoms and other series delved into more controversial topics and stretched the limits of comedy.